Ladies and gentlemen, what is up? My name is Afon. This is Forza Central. And no, we're not playing Forza. We're playing Formula 1 2020. But I'm not going to be talking about what I'm doing here because, well, one, this is kind of like a pre recorded thing. I actually recorded this about uh, four weeks ago, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, around there, I would say. No, that data surround does not say June 25th. That's game time, by the way. So, yeah. But um, actually, today, I don't know if you noticed, you know, with a title or not, but. Today, we're going to be talking about what can we expect in Forza Horizon 5. I am very, very sure you guys have probably seen at least 3 million videos about this. From J from Justin, HTI Gaming, the, I would say, guru of Forza Horizon 5, like, uh, assumptions and whatnot. Um, Yuan Tayakarin, although lately he hasn't really been doing that, but, you know, a few weeks ago he used to do that a lot. And, uh, I think most recently, Jackal Tromotive, um, and AR12 Gaming did it, like, at least two months ago or something like that. But, yeah. Um, so today I'm gonna be talking about, you know, what can we expect in Forza Horizon 5, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the elephant out the room. Japan. Um, I think that Forza Horizon 5, 98% likely is going to be set in Forza Horizon, no, sorry, no, Japan, no, Horizon 5 will be set in Japan, sorry, I cannot speak, um, I think that Horizon 5 can, will be set in Japan, um, and I think that's like a 98% probability, and the reason why I say that is because the community has been asking for it ever since Horizon 4 first came out, because Horizon 4's map is probably the worst map I have ever been on, I mean, Crew 2's map, it's the map of the United States, which was the same thing as the Crew 1, which isn't boring, like, it's actually fun, and NFS Heat, well, that's just on a new level, um, but yeah, like, I I'm gonna be comparing Horizon 4 to those games, and telling, you know, what Horizon 5 should do to kind of beat those two, um, and yeah, so... I think that uh, Horizon 5's like setting should be Japan, and the reason why I say that is because yes, the community has been asking for it, but because it has a lot of variety. I mean, you have the beautiful mountainous scenery, um, you know, uh, that I was showing in, like Tokyo Drift. Now I am literally the worst at geography, so I'm not gonna be like naming names or anything. I'm I'm really sorry. But, uh, yeah, uh, another thing would be, you know, those, like, really windy roads that Japan are, like, really, really famous for, and people do, like, tandem drifting and whatnot, those roads, if they can add that to the game, mwah, that would be amazing, I would love to do, uh, you know, some tandems on that, I mean, that would be so sick, like, I can't do tandems at all on Horizon 4, it's not, because all the roads are, like, either straight or they're just too tight, and, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's not really satisfying as, um, those windy roads in Japan, Another thing would be, well, car culture. I mean, Japan has a heavy, heavy car culture. As a lot of car enthusiasts know, Japan is kind of like the Dubai of car culture. I mean, they have everything from R34s to Mark IV Supras, Mark III's, Mark IIs, R32s, R33s. You name any JDM car, they will probably have about 50 times of that. Same thing in Dubai where they have like 30 Ferraris every three seconds. But yeah. Um... Yeah, like, like, there's a lot of variety that you can put, in, you know, in a Jap in a Japanese map. I mean, they did it with Australia, which I really wasn't expecting. I'm not going to lie. The, the last thing I was expecting was Australia for Horizon 3, but they really pulled it off. And I played it last week, and it was fantastic. I loved the game. I was actually more hooked in Horizon 3 than I was in Horizon 4, even though Horizon 4 had just a little bit better customization. And it's not really, you know, yeah. Um... And what's the next thing I'd like to talk about? Um, oh yeah, body panels. Next thing was body panels. I want to be able to like replace body panels. A lot of people really haven't been talking about that, but you know, I like it to see a bumperless uh, Huracan, like a rear bumper delete on a Huracan with twin turbo, and you can see those twin turbos spooling up and whatnot. Now I know those will probably take a lot of detailing, but at least like have the ability to remove the rear bumper and like you can see at least some of the mechanics. That would be so sick. I would love to do that. Like imagine doing drag races in a in a rear bumper deleted twin turbo Huracan. Now that is that is peak. I would love to do that. Um, not only rear bumpers, but also you know hoods. That would be so sick. Like a lot of drag cars, or at least budget ones like chargers and whatnot when you modify them a lot of them don't really have hoods and i kind of and not gonna lie i kind of like that that's kind of cool 
where you can like re replace the hood and whatnot um and i would love to do that uh but i i think i don't think that will really happen although you 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 can't really expect um a lot of things because uh to be honest forza like might be like preparing themselves and getting like the big boy big guns ready to you know make horizon 5 the best online free roam open world game on the planet and to be honest i think they're gonna do that uh, they might do that they might not they might have like removable um car parts and whatnot but you never know so uh yeah what else um oh yeah uh stickers that you can put on like the windshield and whatnot now windshield stickers are probably like one of the most essentials i would say on a body kit um i feel like you know when you have uh, uh windshield stickers it kind of adds a lot of character to the car and i don't know why maybe it's just me let me know in the comments below actually um you know if you like windshield stickers or not um i i think they're pretty cool like you know if you have like a, um recaro stickers or whatnot those are pretty sick so yeah I, I i would like to be able to add a windshield stickers on you know all over either the windshield or the rear um windows and whatnot that would be pretty sick um uh one big thing is forza wings themselves i like please come on like uh, forza like you haven't changed the forza wings since horizon 3 like my guys come on like you you had time to put the eliminator in but you didn't have time to change forza wings i mean really like i know the eliminator is cool and all but be honest guys i don't think anyone is really playing the eliminator anymore and if they are they're the only reason they're gonna play is for the mercury cougar eliminator which i think everyone be everyone should be having and the gt3 rsp which i should think a lot of people are having because i've seen a lot of them in live races and whatnot so to be honest, the Eliminator is kind of useless now. Like, to, like, come on, guys. Like, Forza. Real talk here. Like, you had time to make a new game mode, but you didn't have time to put um, Forza in. I mean, I don't think they take that long. I mean, you guys probably took about two minutes on the actual forza wings in the game and the forza splitters i mean those look horrendous there's there's more things wrong with forza wings uh than a prius so i think in horizon 5 what they're gonna do is they're gonna improve that because if they don't a big part of the forza horizon community is gonna be pissed off and i i, I know that because like I, I i i'm like tired of going into the customization for like a bugatti veyron and horizon and looking at a forza wing like crew 2 excuse me they were on wings look so crazy on the crew 2 the customization in the crew 2 is and, and in nfsc they're both outrageous outlandish and awesome i love i love that i love outlandish things that's why the lamborghini is but yeah like i love the fact that NFSC has a, literally the craziest customizations you can ever do. Especially on the SVJ. I don't remember which SVJ it was, but it has like that really big, crazy wing. I love that. That looks so sick. Imagine doing that in Horizon. Like, oh, come on, guys. We're like, really? Like, come on. Like, please. So, yeah. I, I, I would like to see, you know, better Forza Wings in Horizon 5. Because if, if it isn't, then I'm like... It's, it's just worthless then <laughs> but um yeah another thing is which i kind of talked about already is customization um the customization in horizon 4 is probably as like the worst it's like the prius of customizations it's absolutely horrendous i hate it the despise of it and yeah let me the crew 2 and nfs heat their customization is literally the best i mean i i, like, I think i think nfs heat takes the cake and the reason why is because I am a big fan of Main Street cars, and NFS Heat has Main Street body kits. So, you know, uh, NFS Heat has a little bit of, you know, yeah, my heart. But, yeah, like, come on, Forza, can you please at least, at least just put Main Street stuff as, like, even, I don't mind if it's not the full kit. Like, if it's not the full Venatos Evo kit or whatever, if it's just a soft kit, I don't mind. As long as it's a Main Street kit of some kind, I am happy with it because like I, I i just don't want it you know i'm tired of like 
it's like seeing bland cars like customization is i don't know it's just really really bad and i hate it and uh if if um forza horizon 5 you know i think they will add a lot of uh, a, like a huge variety of customization for not only you know people who like Main Street, but also you know like JDMs and supercars and hypercars and trucks like lift kits and big wheels and the and the possibility of maybe rolling coal and whatnot. That'd be kind of sick. Um, and yeah, like you know, I want to see Brixton Ford's rims, three piece preferably, please. Um, I would like to see more HREs, because lately, you know, HRE's been putting out some heat lately on wheels, so, hey, can, can, can we please some, like, see more HREs, because I'm kind of tired of looking at HRE P101s, um, on, like, literally every single BMW, uh, wide body slash AMG, like, I hate that, so, yeah, I would like to see, um, Oh man, I'm really bad at like rim stuff. Uh, Volks Racing, yeah, like can we have a variety of TE37 instead of one TE37 that was probably made in, like 2001? Like, come on, please. Like the the the, the, the T37s in the game are literally the, the worst looking ones I've ever seen in my life. Like, I want to put T37 Sports. That those are the ones I prefer to put on JDM stuff. But no, I am like I have to put HRE stuff because that's the only other wheel that actually looks sort of good but not really on jdm stuff please don't hate me for that excuse me please do not hate me for that I, I, i'm kind of forced into that otherwise i, I, I would have put t37 because i'm a cultured person um yeah i mean there's a lot of other stuff i would like to talk about um but i don't want to make this an hour long so i'm gonna aim it to at least put it at least like 18 minutes and 10 seconds that's just uh, kind of my goal so um yeah there, there is going to be a part two coming to this and i might do a yuan tara tara uh thing where i talk about problems in forza horizon 4 and whatnot so yeah uh what's another thing that i would like to talk about ladies and gentlemen is that i would like to um see like when when when, when people put in cars i would like to see i guess a more like more engaging map if that makes sense um thing is is that horizon 3 had like a really really cool map where you know um on, on that one part i think it was like if i remember correctly it was towards the left side to like down a little bit no yeah a little bit down i think they had that shipwreck part where you can do jumps and stuff i would like to see that again in horizon 4 i mean yeah they have that lego expansion thing where they have like the heart like the theme park but i don't think like People who don't have the VIP edition and they have to pay like thirty dollars just to get one part, like eh. And the one in the train station is just horrible because there's stuff everywhere. So yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of like to see you know like a theme park type of thing. Um and yeah. Another thing I would like to see now since it's like set in Japan and whatnot, um I would like to see a lot of like JDM oriented, um car um, i guess song uh, no what i'm trying to say um no uh, sorry my mind went blank um i, I you know and since it would be set in japan i would like to see the expansions to be like japanese um i guess you could say influence if that makes sense kind of like anime that'd be kind of cool imagine the anime expansion I don't know what that would consist with, but that would be kind of sick. Um, another thing, you know, with the expansion stuff is please make it more interesting. Because Fortune Island, it sucks. Like, yeah, there's like cool drift roads and stuff. But it's probably the smallest map I've ever seen in my life. For an expansion, at least. And for uh, Lego Island, well, ladies and gentlemen, there's more things wrong with Lego Island than there is on this Formula 1 car that I'm driving right now. I mean, that's a lot of problems. So yeah um please horizon like when they make horizon 5 please make the expansions much more interesting because that would kind of like you know, yeah um and uh last but not least the last thing i'd like to talk about is when you release horizon 5 for its uh people please 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 make sure that the game is like when you release it upon release please make it so that it doesn't feel empty because when I played Horizon 4 the first time, it felt so empty. Like, it felt like there's a big thing, a big piece that wasn't, like, there. 
and that piece is festival playlist like if festival playlist was uh started when horizon 4 came out and all they did was, was just add cars they would have had a more cars because i know horizon 4 like horizon people like to put more cars into game so more cars more cooler cars like the Sion fkp 37 or sorry uh fkp 63 i think it's called and yeah like I, I would like to have the game more completed upon release because Horizon has gone through two phases of changing the way we earn cars. The first one was where they just like showed you that had like a big blank screen and they just showed you how to earn cars and stuff and then they changed to the festival playlist thing. And yeah, like uh, please do that because or uh, you honestly make it like a like a, a more I guess 2.0 version of festival playlist too. Um I guess you could say. So yeah, like, I I don't want the game to feel like it's not completed and it's still in the, like a development phase when I buy it and I play on it and stuff. Now, best believe when Horizon 5 comes out, there's gonna be some big content coming. And uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can't wait till Horizon 5 comes out. There's gonna be so much stuff. I know Forza Horizon is getting their big guns ready because I know that if they mess this up, Horizon will never be, like, the best car game anymore. It'll probably be, like, The Crew or NFS, honestly. Those will be, probably be the best series games ever. And Horizon 5 will probably be the last if they don't, you know, do the things that a lot of people, a lot of the people in the community, like DJS and AR12, um, Jack Ultra Motive and Justin HTI Gaming, you know, and you want to add car, and I mean, he's made probably an Oxford Dictionary for what to do in Horizon 5, to be honest. Like, come on. And, uh, yeah. Um, I hope you guys, you know, enjoy this video uh, of me talking about, you know, what can we expect in Horizon 5. It's not def it's definitely not, you know, my usual style, but um, I kind of like to switch it up a little bit. So, yeah. And if you are new, and this is like your first video you've, you're, you've ever watched um, that I've posted and stuff, um, you know, feel free to browse, because this isn't really my usual thing, so yeah, feel free to browse, and, um, if you do like the content that I'm, uh, you know, making and stuff, then feel free to subscribe and turn on those post notifications, I upload nowadays, uh, from Tuesday till Sunday, no, not Tuesday, it's from Wednesday through Sunday, those are kind of like my upload, upload schedule, and then Monday and Tuesday are kind of like my off days, those are my, like, recording days, so, yeah, I, I would love to, uh, you know, have you as a subscriber, and yeah, that would, that would be cool. Um, what else? Uh, yeah, share this video also with people, you know, um, who, who would like uh, to see, you know, what, what can we expect in Horizon 5. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, uh, which is going to be C8 Corvette. <clears throat> so, yeah, have a good day. Bye.